Hello, this is Jason P. Wilson, Zero in X Force, and today is November 6, 2011, and it is a Sunday. Uh, now, I usually show my pick of the week first, uh, followed by my honorable mentions, but I'm doing three weeks uh, in one because I was on vacation, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and put them all together. But I am going to still only have one pick. It's going to be like the pick of the three weeks. Uh, so what I did is I picked um, one independent and three of each from DC and Marvel. And then I'm going to show my pick of the week last, which is one of those. Uh, so first up here is my honorable mention for my independents. And it is uh, a really great um, start for a limited run uh, from IDW. Uh, it's called Monocyte, and it's a really interesting comic book. Uh, here on the cover it says, In the Land of the Blinds, the one I eyed is king. And I thought was, uh, that was pretty cool. Now, I just wanted to show how unique and beautiful this artwork. First of all, every page is like a painting. And it's like you have the um, narration similar to when uh, Marvel did Dracula. If you guys remember that, it wasn't that long ago. It was like a year ago or something like that. Um, and it has a really cool like uh, introduction here. And you know, it's only a four-parter, so uh, they give you a pretty rich backstory. And it's a really unique comic book. Very beautiful. Look, see how they have writings inside the frames. Really cool. Uh, also, this main character... He is a, a very interesting one. It kind of has like a, a Hellraiser type feel, uh, kind of like Clive Barker. And uh, yeah, this is a, a really unique comic. As soon as I opened it, you can't really tell, but the paper is really thick and uh, it holds really good gloss. So this was a great... Uh, comic book. Uh, I'm almost sorry that it's only going to be a, um, a limited run, but I can see why. I mean, you can't keep this high quality uh, throughout an ongoing. It's just, it'd be too expensive. But uh, this is a really unique and beautifully uh, written and gorgeously illustrated uh, comic book limited run. It's out from IDW. At $3.99, it's actually a steal. So I definitely recommend this. It's my honorable mention. Uh, next up here are my DCs. And first up here is Wonder Woman. I really liked where the second issue uh, took us. Well, here we are uh, seeing the gods and seeing what they're up to and why Hera is doing what she's doing. Uh, you go, we go, come back to Wonder Woman and uh, she is starting to figure out what's going on too. You have really good action in, in this issue, and what might have been lacking for some in the artwork in the first issue, it's really showing uh, what this artwork can do. It's very unique artwork. Uh, I also love this scene here, and uh, we all know this. I don't even know, need to mention what this is. I can just show it. We all know, uh, all of you who, who know Wonder Woman know what this is down here. So that was cool. I didn't think they were going to show this at all, the whole forming of her in the sand. Uh, and I'm glad I'm glad they didn't change that. They, they kept that classic moment of uh, her origins. But then we come back to what's going on now and I just look at this. Look how that action's handled. Really great. This is a really unique book and it actually was pretty close to my pick of the week. Uh, I love this comic book. This is finally Wonder Woman done right. Uh, next up here is Aquaman, another honorable mention. Aquaman number one ended on a great note, and it starts off right where it left off. Uh, the This new creepy race is feeding on those fishermen. And then we come back here to our hero and his queen, and some things start to happen. I won't explain too much. I don't like to do that because it kind of spoils the story a little bit. I love uh, finding out what's going on myself by reading comics. So I, I want to pass that along just by showing you 
the beautiful artwork here. This is a cool two spread. And uh, yeah, here Aquaman's starting to uh, figure out the danger that's coming. Uh, really good action. Check that out. This is awesome. Really good action. Um, and Jeff John's writing is excellent. And I'm really loving the artwork as well. Again, just like Wonder Woman, the second issue really makes this come, at, uh, come to life. All right, and next, no surprise here, honorable mention is Action Comics number three. This is probably my favorite of the three issues that have come out so far. Um, I love this. Again, I don't even need to mention what this is. Awesome. I like where Morrison is taking us. I thought maybe we'd be cheated from some of my favorite moments in the history of uh, Superman, his origins. But if, obviously there's a twist here. Some interesting things going on. We got Crypto in the corner. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool how he Crypto is a little different and they uh, made him the, the family dog type thing. I thought that was pretty neat, even though we know he's not alive. It's still cool to see him and how he was. Obviously, that's different than the way that we knew it. A uh, really cool uh, start here. Beautiful. Oof, man, that's gorgeous. Really got me excited when I turned this page. And, of course, the story is just beginning. Uh, this is a fantastic comic book. And, again, I cannot say enough good things about uh, Morrison doing the origins of Superman. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, I really liked how this uh, story progressed, and I really liked how it ended. A great, great comic book, and a, definitely a super strong recommendation. Okay, uh, next up are my Marvels. First up from my Marvels is one of my favorites, and this is a brand new comic, obviously after the schism. This is Wolverine's team. It's his main comic book, and I like the art style quite a bit. I think that it's perfect for the type of stories that are being told. Um, I heard some people didn't like it, but I wouldn't know why. I think it's great. Great two-page spread here. I even like, you know, uh, that Wolverine named uh, the school... Uh, after Jean, Jean Grey. I thought that was awesome. Um, really cool. You could get to know some of these characters if you've never written X-Men uh, before. This is a great comic to pick up. You kind of have a combination of the way X-Men used to be and the way it still is kind of mixed together. Uh, really well done. Beautiful artwork. It's very humorous. Surprisingly humorous. I wasn't expecting humor in uh, this Wolverine comic. Uh, I do want to show this real quick. Both this and the next one have this, but it's pretty cool. We got a little spread here, and it's it shows basically uh, Wolverine up here at the top, Headmaster, Kitty Pride, Headmistress, and Beast, and breaks down the faculty and then the students. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then here in the back, you have... Um, more from Team Wolverine, and it shows the, the comics that are going to be about Wolverine's side. Obviously, X-Men, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Wolverine X-Men. We have Wolverine, of course. Then X-Men Legacy, I guess, is going to be a Wolverine uh, a tight end title. And then Uncanny X-Force, of course. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, next up here is the other side to the story, and this is uh, Cyclops' side, and this is his main book. Uncanny X-Men number one. I thought the artwork was good. I did like it. Um, I wasn't as impressed as I was with Wolverine. Uh, and at first, I didn't think I was going to like it at all. When I saw the preview online, I checked it out. I was like, eh. But once I ha have it in my hands and I'm reading it, I actually like it quite a bit. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, Cyclops being the new Jaggernaut. Um, and I think they're using him a lot better than that they've used him before. Before he's just kind of been there, but now they seem to have a he seems to have a purpose. So that's pretty cool. Namor is the jerk you you always like, um, and um, got some really good action, uh, some pretty cool art, uh, pa uh, splash pages, and you know some dire stuff always happening. I have to say this though: what I like about Wolverine and the X Men, it's not your classic X Men tragedy like this. This here is more your standard X Men tale. 
bad things happen to X-Men right away, and they have to endure. Um, that's always the way it goes, and, you know, we like it like that, but not all the time. Uh, I would have liked it if they just kept away from that for a while. I mean, we just got at, done having so many X-Men events of bad things happening. We could have, like, changed it up a bit and had, like, your more classic uh, superhero tale or something like that. Just not to such the the dire stuff uh, right away. But I still like it. I think it's good. And um, I will be reading it. And here at the end, um, again, I thought I like this a lot. Um, by the way, uh, the Wolverine had this as well, Things to Come, and it's a double-page spread, uh, which is pretty cool. But here we go. We have the um, Cyclops here on top, and then his main team, and then the X-Club, and then uh, here's the X-Men book, uh, Security Recon, uh, Street Team, Cleanup, Gen... Uh, Hope team here, and then the recruits. I thought that was pretty cool. I I definitely think it's a little unbalanced right now. They have the power team. They have all the stuff going on, but I guess it makes sense. I hope that switches it up in the future, though. And uh, here at the end, we have his main book, Wolverine's uh, Team Wolverine. And you got, of course, Uncanny X-Men. you got the New Mutants. You have X-Men, and you have Generation Hope. So I thought that was great. I kind of like that. In fact, it made me enjoy the comics a little more with the little pages in the back. And next here is my pick of the weeks, plural. And uh, of all the comics, there were a lot of great ones, but my favorite was uh, Incredible Hulk, number one. Uh, all uh, you, you who have been uh, you know watching my posts for a while, you know I'm a Hulk fan. Um, so that probably had a factor. I wasn't really expecting to like it. In fact, when they ended The Incredible Hulk not that long ago, I was ready to retire the Hulk for like a year or so and assume they would launch after that. So when they were launching so quickly, I was not expecting much. I was like, oh gosh, do I really want to get into Hulk again? It just ended. But I picked it up because I was, I'm a Hulk fan, and then, man, I was actually surprised. So I was expecting not to like it, but I end up loving it. Hulk Asunder, Part 1. Really cool artwork. Um, I, I like... Eh, i got to switch this up a little bit. I like how they're, they're presenting the Hulk. It's very... Uh, almost like Planet Hulk-ish, but with a savage twist. I like that. I like how he has sympathy with and connecting with these beasts that he's fighting. Uh, also, you, get, you have your classic action... Um, up here, he's ripping the claw off this guy, but uh, really awesome monster fights here, all in the first couple pages. And then we get to see what's going on and, and where he is. And uh, he has this relationship with this race of people that, of course, we know who they are. And uh, really cool, very cool. In fact, I, uh, this is going to be connected, I think, somehow to the Avenging Spider Man because. Uh, after reading this, I already know of a, a certain connection. So, um, I'm curious. I assume they're going to connect it somehow. Otherwise, they're both going to have um, a, a connection through this race. Something like that. Uh, but, yeah, I love this artwork. I thought the story was surprisingly um, well done. And my favorite Hulk has always been that Savage Atmosphere type Hulk. You know, Hulk in the Savage Land... Hulk on uh, Planet Hulk, and uh, something like that. Kind of like Barbarian Hulk, right? And here we are, and that's exactly what's going on with a little twist. A twist that I like. Beautiful artwork. And here's here's cool. Uh, I was like, oh wow, who's this guy? And these crystals, what's going on? I thought it was really neat. And then... Oh, no. Advertisement. Love it, right? Uh, and then he fights, and I was like, well, this guy's pretty cool. He's fighting. And then, boom, you find out it's a girl. And for me, I kind of had a Metroid moment. I remember when I played Metroid way back when, and, and you found out uh, that Metroid was a girl at the end. It was kind of like that, so I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, interesting character, and uh, again, it shows the beautiful artwork. This was a great comic and a surprising, uh, surprising 
uh, beginning to what looks like uh, what, when I thought Hulk was like you know over, what looks like a really cool new take on um, Hulk. Now this is not to say this doesn't continue what just ended recently because it does. It kind of picks up where it left off, but it does it in a way that feels uh, uh, fresh. And if you never read any of the stories before, you might be wondering why um, the Hulk and Bruce Banner are separated. But I'm sure the, this, this would be told uh, very uh, soon to new readers. And again, you have kind of like a Dr. Monroe type thing going on with uh, Bruce Banner, which is very different. You know, they haven't really done that before, so that's cool. So I was very impressed with The Incredible Hulk, and... Um, I'm really excited about this. This is one of my favorite uh, new relaunchings of Marvel. And they did, they, they did quite a few that I thought was uh, very good. So yes, uh, my pick of the week, The Incredible Hulk, number one. My honorable mentions, Uncanny X-Men, Wolverine the X-Men, that's my Marvel... Honorable Mentions for DC, Action Comics, number three, Aquaman, number two, Wonder Woman, number two, and my Honorable Mention for Independence, um, uh, Monocyte, number one. And with that, those are my uh, Honorable Mentions with my pick of the week. Curious if you guys read any of these comics. And uh, again, especially with this IDW comic, if you're gonna, if if you're looking to, to jump on to any new comic, a lot of these are uh, great times to jump on. Most of those, obviously, number ones, even the the number two and number threes is still a good time to jump on. So with that said, those are my picks, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.